Welcome back to Benji's Smokehouse on another Monday morning. Today we're talking about Fedora again. We saw a little bit of the trend breakdown. Um, we're, 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 we're keeping an eye on it. Uh, it's in that it's in that zone where we, we where we know it's it's a good spot to start DCAing underneath three quarters of a penny. Um, and then if it keeps going lower, we're just going to keep DCAing in from this point. Um, it's it could be rough, but the more the market pops, the more it seems like Fendora might be counter trading the market, Bitcoin and stuff like that, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we're just going to keep an eye on it, keep an eye out for Fendora's yellow submarine that's going to be coming out in the next, I think it's a couple of weeks or a month or two. Um, so that's watching that drop is going to be really interesting. Um, Unison broke its trend again today, so it's another counter trade. Uh, another counter market trade. Um, I mean, like I said, we were just using this for for w looking at the uh, at the run. But here's your top, here's your bottom right now. So our our uh, fib retracement isn't quite there yet. Um, but it also seems like it's running very reminiscent to Fendora. Um, early in its run, like around the the one tenth of a penny mark, um, like over in like in like this area. See how you you know we ran they ran up to like twenty three, ran up to like thirty, and then came back down to you know under twenty cents or under two under two tenths of a cent. So compare it to you know Unison is running under twenty cents. Look, it touched down under under twenty. Uh, this might be a really good spot to actually buy Unison right now. This is what my honest opinion is. I might actually go in today and buy some Unison today. Uh, I remember the other day I said when we were kind of more up here, I said, I haven't bought it yet. Be careful. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it. So we kept an eye on it. Today we might buy our Unison. Uh, if not today, we're just going to keep another little eye on it. And then maybe later... Uh, I don't expect it to go below, uh, you know, this trend line here pretty much. Oh, let me just delete that because that's getting on my nerves. So I, uh, I really don't think we're going we're gonna to go underneath, you know, the trend line. That's really, that's really like your, I don't want to call it support, but that's like the end of your trend. If you break below that here, you're just going back down uh, to where you were. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. It's at levels close to uh, end of trend. Uh, Pre-search has been kind of hot and reeling. Uh, not really, but it's it's been it's been moving up a little bit. You only need a little bit every day. Uh, I highly recommend pre-search again um, with all the 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 sanctions from the US government, all the subpoenas asking for, you know, data from Google and, and every other, uh, you know, internet outlet possible. Pre-search does not save your data. The carbon footprint is infinitely less than Google. Um, it's just highly, highly worth looking into. Uh, and then you get paid to, to, to use it too. You get tokens just to use it. Uh, I, I'd like to see Google pay us to use it because Google does not pay us to use it. They sell us. They sell our, our info, our, 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 our likenesses. They sell everything about us and you see nothing of that. Get off of Google, off of anything Google, Gmail, anything that has Google related to it. Just get away from it. Just get away uh, as fast as you can. Um, and now we're going to do something new uh, today. Uh, it's called Word on the Tweets. Word on the Tweets today and well, the past couple days. Uh, Quant has been going through a supply shock. KuCoin has ran out of Quant uh, QNT token. Um, they've been trying to get more and bringing it onto the platform, but the more they buy up and bring on there, the more people just buy it up and push it up. So you got a lot, you got a big supply shock going on. It started Saturday night. Uh, it was like roughly right around here Saturday night, 122, I think it was. Yeah, this is like, it was like 120, 121 when I, when I heard about the supply shock over here, um, late Saturday night. Uh, it kept going into yesterday, 
uh, as you can see, these red these red bars are literally um, every time KuCoin tries to bring bring some over. So every time they bring some over and buy it from somewhere else and bring it here, they they sell it, but it gets instantly brought bought right back up and pushed right back up. So there's a big supply shock in uh, on Quant. It's interesting to keep an eye on it. Uh, another word, another thing that's word on the streets: U.S. government has banned the use of tornado cash. Word on the tweets: No more tornado cash for the U.S. citizens. Um, I mean, they ban you can ban whatever you want. People are still going to use it. This and that, whatever. But yeah, that's word on the tweets for today. Um, going back into our our uh, our little video, our wake and bake sesh. Um, Victoria VR lands are still cheap. There hasn't really been any purchases the past couple days. Uh, I believe we have a couple. Yeah, we have a couple for point two. This dude like rushed and sold it. He just sold two of them for for. I guess no apparent reason. I have no idea why they would sell them that cheap. That's kind of weird. Over half the floor, but yeah, Victoria VR is going to be popping. Uh, another one that you might want to look into is the beyond earth lands they are insanely cheap i'm not touching anything yuga or board ape related when it comes to metaverse or nfts i don't believe in their bullshit product um i don't believe in people who sit there and say yuga have created wealth for people because yuga didn't create any wealth for anybody i don't care if you disagree with my opinion but they didn't create any wealth they just put out a little nft and then when everybody shoved a whole bunch of money down their throats like millions upon hundreds of millions of dollars almost you know almost a billion uh, it, was, it was getting very, very, very popular for no reason. There was no roadmap. There was nothing. They had no plan. It was just a picture. And then they were like, well, because of the popularity, we're going to thank you and give you something else for free. And then we'll give you something else for free. That's not creating wealth. The wealth was created by the community. The reason why people, well, I wouldn't even say by the community because... Franklin having 60 board apes is obviously bullshit. Um, the fact that he's j dropping 90 and 100 ETH all the time on these, uh, Gaio series got to have some type of hand in it. Uh, if Yuga didn't, if, if Yuga wanted to be transparent, everybody would have known about Gaio series from the beginning, but nobody knew about it. It was the biggest secret in the world. It was a plan to be a ploy. I'm not going to call everything racist or whatever because you can take whatever, you know, subliminal messages you may as you want. That's a Stanley Kubrick thing. That's the whole point of subliminal messaging is it's it's up to your interpretation of it. Um, but to be honest, if they wanted to be transparent, they would have been transparent from the beginning and they were not. Uh, so I'm going to stay away from other side Fortnite copy. And I'm going to play other games in the metaverse. Beyond Earth is going to be one of those. Uh, Victoria VR, like I showed you before. That is another one I'm very much waiting for. As you can see, I'll even show you guys. I got my Oculus ready and waiting to play Victoria VR. And then uh, the last, last but not least, we're going to touch on our um, on domains. ENS domains are hot. They're popping. Three digits, four digits clean one letters or clean one words um co co company names person's names last names first names um anything with key uh keywords in it you know block ether files square come on guys my handbag is going to be a big one for for females when they start picking it disney villains you know disney princesses stuff like that uh revenge tour you never know what Trump may put up in his goddamn mind or whatever. Um, open Sea Dog, you know, it's just speculative guessing sometimes. My loan care is a mortgage company. Uh, the Discordian, you know, sometimes you just you just you just speculate on you know Discordian stuff. Pet bed, two pretty key words. Um, 
going to be a hot one. Loan coins. Loan coins, huge. You know, Philly Voice is a big time newspaper. Jedi Gray, you know, ethnode, node related domains are going to be huge. I do tease offers, so if there's nothing listed uh, that you're interested in, just DM me. Hit me up here on YouTube. Hit me up on Twitter. I will always answer. Um, as long as you're not rude and ignorant. Um, you know, even, even uh, you know, domains with ENS in it. You know, Bonk Hits for Jesus, read-related ones, songs, Jesse's Girl, Butters, you know, Leopold Stotch of South Park. There's such thing as the Richard Club. The Richard Club is clutch. It's very, very interesting, and you can only do so much with the name Richard. Um, Bobies. Because who don't love Bobies? Uh, A-E-N-S, anything with E-N-S in it. E-N-S is huge. Like I said, your node-related book binders is what's called a pre-punk. The club of pre-punks means that these were registered before crypto punks came into existence. Um, then we're just, you know, speculating on more like VTARD and, and, and Sexy Pay's another pre-punk. Two wallets, like two chains, you know, two phones, two chains, I got two wallets. You know, one for the JPEGs and one for the ETH. So, we're just bringing it up. Palindromes are another another big uh, grouping. Um, excuse my dogs sneezing behind me. Uh, they're playing or whatever and having fun. Um, sweeping the floors, system overload. But there's a lot of people in the... Um, ecosystem of ENS that you need to follow. Uh, I highly recommend Bloom Capital Domain Plug, um, though it's basically the same person, but Bloom Capital is like the, the personal account. Domain Plug is the, um, the, ex the exchange he's creating that's very similar here to ENS Vision. Uh, there is ENS Vision, which is another clutch uh, account to follow, Zero Zero Coins, which is one of the creators of ENS Vision. Furion, F-U-R-Y-A-N, uh, I believe, uh, is how it's spelled. And then there's uh, Gwyman, G-W-E-I-M-A-N. You got, you know, 50, uh, was it 51, 59? You got 0095. You got Crypto Bull Run. You got a lot of people in the ENS community that are highly worth following. Guys, today we went like twice as long as I normally go. Uh, it's a Monday morning, our wake and bake stream show, whatever you want to call it. Um, safe trading, guys. Remember, do not click anything you're unfamiliar with. Do not sign any smart contracts without reading the smart contracts and finding out if things are malicious or not. Please be safe out there. Don't store your seed phrases on your phones. Don't store them on any text documents. Don't take any pictures of it. Literally, stay safe out there and get hardware wallets if you can. Stay puffing. Have a good day, all.